All right, what's up, everybody? Good freaking morning. So uh, I got a new channel. It's called Teddy Zane All Out. It is my fitness channel now. I was going to start doing more fitness on this channel, but when I do a fitness video, uh, I get a lot of complaints. People are like, dude, I'm here for the finance, not the fitness, which makes no sense to me, man, because what good is money if you don't have your health? Like, what the heck, man? Seriously, people get on to me for doing fitness videos on this channel. So, go to Teddy Zane All Out. That is going to be my fitness channel. And I am going to just get down and dirty with my freaking videos. And I'm wide open. That's why I called it All Out. Because I do not hold back on anything when it comes to what I do. What I've taken. What I take. What you should take for contest prep. All that stuff, man. I talk about it all wide open. So, Teddy's ain't all out, man. We're going to start killing it. Also, I'm going to track this powerlifting meet I have coming up in May, man. I'm competing at the Ultimate Warrior Classic in May, right here in Birmingham. And, uh, you know, I'm going to be 50 years old in April. I will be 50. And when I compete in this competition, I'm competing in the open. I'm not competing with the 50-year-olds. You know what I'm saying? I refuse to do that. So, I'm actually going for records, plaques, gold medals in the young gun category. I'm going to be competing against 20 year olds, 30 year olds. They're going to line me up with 20 year olds to bench press and I got to out bench these dudes. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, I plan on kicking their freaking ass straight up. So track that, follow me. Teddy Zane all out. I'm going to put a link below. Also follow me on Facebook. Teddy Zane friend request me. Then send me a message and tell me you're from YouTube. So here's, uh, something I want to talk about with AMC and right now because uh, some of you guys are doubting the fact that I'm not day trading AMC anymore because I've gone too hush hush on it so dude you must be day trading AMC because you don't talk about it anymore I don't talk about it anymore because it's boring what's there to talk about it's like talking about grass growing every day you're gonna be like hey everybody my grass gained a centimeter today it's a little darker today the sun's shining uh oh it's gonna rain tomorrow the grass is gonna get flooded it's gonna turn yellow you know what i'm saying like what the shit how many times can you talk about grass freaking growing all right it gets boring man so that's why I'm not doing videos every day on AMC. It's just freaking, there's nothing to talk about. You just got to hold now and you got to wait for the eruption, okay? So I'm not day trading AMC and here's why. And, you, and this is some vital information that you got to take with you because you can be day trading right now. There's a lot of beautiful trades out there, daily trades out there. Here's why you don't want to day trade AMC. You could swing trade AMC right now. Swing trading means today you're going to sell it at $28 and then you're just going to wait and hope she dips all the way down to $22 so that you can buy back in on the cheap. That is a swing trade, but that is dangerous because you could be out of the money for a long time. She could go to 29, 30, 31, 32. You're out of the money because swing trading AMC, not smart. Said it since day one not smart yes she could go to 22 but man i'm not doing it i ain't risking it all right my money's in on amc reason we're not another reason we're not day trading amc is there's no volume in order to have volatility which volatility is a day trader's freaking best friend you got to have a lot of volume now on a stock that has a 600 million share float a lot of volume would be 150 million and up then you're creating these massive swings up and down. You got these three and four dollar swings throughout the day, especially when the stock opens in the morning. You can get a three, four, five, six dollar swing right in the frick, right out of the gate. Be done by lunch, and you just made all your money. You're back in. You're ready to go for tomorrow. That's how it goes down. Well, AMC doesn't have that right now. AMC's burning maybe thirty million. You know, you can't do nothing with a thirty million with uh, that kind of momentum there's there's just not enough okay on the volume so another reason here's another reason when you have very low volume the market maker can manipulate the stock in their favor at the end of the day the stock is still going to flow with the tidal wave with the buying and the selling wherever the buying or the selling is leading to that's where the stock's going to end up at the end of the day but throughout the day the market maker has a better chance of manipulating the stock with less volume. 
because there's just less volume coming in. Therefore, they can put shares in the dark, pull, ah, toss it aside, toss it aside, let the stock go down, let it trickle down, let it trickle, or let's just hold the stock. Market makers could just hold the stock right at $28 for as long as they freaking want to when volume is crazy freaking low, okay? So another reason you don't wanna day trade it because you fall into the hands of the market maker and they'll control you. They will control you, man. You'll lose, all right? Um, so that's it, man. Look for, listen, only AMC. Now, because it's a 600 million share float that you're looking for 100 million shares, that's high volume. That's good volume. A stock like DWAC, when the float is only 30 million, Shit, if you're trading 30 million shares, you're trading the entire float. That's considered high volume. Um, you see what I'm saying? So it's the it's the ticker, the actual shares. You got you got to look at the freaking float and compare that to the volume, and that's how you're going to know if you're going to have the volatility that you need to day trade that ticker. Um, and I'm always looking for a three four dollar swing, but I'm looking for a two dollar trade. Sometimes I'll hit a dollar trade a couple times a day on a super high volatile stock, okay? I was doing that with AMC all freaking summer. It was freaking amazing. I was slamming one and $2 trades on that damn stock. It seemed like I was hitting three a freaking week, minimum two a week, okay? But now she's cooled off, you can't do that. But I've moved to other stocks. Anyway, I am still having fun, especially with DWAC. DWAC is my new baby, love it. And uh, you guys know I'm back in on Dogecoin. So anyway, got to get to the gym. Go to my new page, baby. Teddy Zane all out because we're going to talk about everything. I'm even going to talk more about, I'm going to just talk freely on that page and hopefully you come along for the ride and I don't piss you guys off. Here, it seems like I piss everybody off if I go off topic. Nobody wants to talk about anything other than stocks and I created this around that so I guess I understand it. Um, But anyway, y'all have an awesome day. I am off to the gym and I'm going to record this workout today. So uh, it's gloomy, it's gray, it's dark, but my ass is still getting there and doing it. All right, y'all have an awesome afternoon. Doge Warrior out, baby. Shaboom. Peace.